Hi bestie. Let's do a little bit of skincare, shall we? Let's get up close and personal here. Oh yeah. So she's not perfect, but I'm pretty proud of her. She's come a long way. So I like to get my hair up out of my face. I honestly sleep with it up typically like in a messy bun or whatever. Or one of these guys, I really like these. <laughs> Something like that. To like tuck in all your little baby hairs and keep your hair dry. So I'm gonna start by cleansing with my Elmi's Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser. This is from their anti-aging collection. This is a gel-based cleanser. I love this cleanser. It smells so good. I wish it was like a perfume though, honestly, or like a lotion because I just am obsessed with the way it smells. It smells so good. I don't know what it is. So because I have my tripod in front of my sink, not ideal, um, I'm gonna have to like be in and out of shots. So just bear with me. I'm doing what I can. First, just gonna literally dampen my face um, or I'll splash water on it. And then one pump of the cleanser. Oh, it smells so good. We're just gonna lather her on up. Once it's all lathered up, I'm just gonna rinse my hands. I let it sit for a couple seconds. It does start to like go clear um, when it's like drying or whatever. So I'm just gonna quickly rinse this off, nothing special. And then take a little washcloth and pat dry. I'm gonna make like a little skincare smoothie, a little cocktail if you will. So I'm first gonna take my Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And this is a moisturizer. I really like this one because it's super duper lightweight on the skin. And the way that I'm going to show you how I apply this, it works chef's kiss perfectly. So I'm gonna do one pump and you just press down and it comes out the center. And I'm gonna use this as my little base to apply the next few steps on and mix together. So right over top of this, I'm gonna take my Bye Bye Dullness Vitamin C Serum from It Cosmetics. And it says to do about four to five drops. I honestly hate the way that this is packaged because it's so messy. Like, can you see how like crusty and crystallized around the pump is from the product? Like it's super annoying and it also shoots out of the pump. So keep that in mind, be like super duper duper careful. And you're just gonna put that right on your little thing, whatever container. One, two, three, four, four, we'll go with four. But yeah, like four to five-ish. Like I said, it's really hard to control this. I hope they repackage this because this isn't it. <laughs> And the moisturizer also keeps the serum from going inside the packaging here. So it's not gonna seep in, so that's fine. Then I'm gonna take the Bye Bye Dark Spots Concentrated Serum, also from A Cosmetics, and I'm going to do the same thing about four to five drops. This packaging's great. I don't know why they chose to do a pump instead of this, but whatever. One, two, three, four, five-ish. Then, once we have those three in there, I'm just gonna take my finger and mix it all together. This makes applying both the serum super easy. The moisturizer also like thickens up the formula so it's easier to apply. I'm just gonna take my fingers, grab some product, and press it onto the skin. And anytime I have like any excess product, I do bring it down my neck. You should bring your skincare down your neck, honestly, anyway. That skin is just as important. So once you use all the product that's on the container here, I just clean that real quick with like a Clorox wipe or whatever. Because we do use this as like a little mixing station, you wanna make sure it's sanitary. So just quickly clean that off and then I put the lid back on. So both of these products here are really gonna target any hyperpigmentation, any dark spots, any scarring. I do still have some scarring from um, when I was dealing with acne, so it is helping fade that away. Um, also just random little scars or any just like pigmentation that you may be experiencing, like sunspot, etc. Really great for that. So then over top, Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. And I'm just gonna use one pump. So this is specifically designed to help plump the skin, give more like a youthful look overall, and specifically target any fine lines. And I like to focus this on my laugh lines, smile lines, like these guys here, like around the mouth, also around the eye and forehead. This can actually be used morning and or night, whatever fits into your routine. So I'm gonna take a pump of this guy, the Kate Somerville Lifting Eye Cream, and using your ring finger or my ring finger, I'm going to tap around my eye. So under eye and then the outer corner, like crow's feet area. And I do want to emphasize again, like I do try to focus doing tapping and pressing motion rather than like pulling and tugging and you want to be gentle with your skin. And then to finish up the morning routine, I'm going to apply my sunscreen. So the one I've been using recently is the Kate Somerville Daily Deflector Mineral Sunscreen. This is SPF 40. 
This is obviously important to incorporate into your skincare routine and skin, like full body routine in general, to help prevent any harmful rays, cancers, fine lines, wrinkles, etc. But it's also important when you're using anything that makes your skin more sensitive to sun, for example, vitamin C. Um, also like retinol, AHA, BHA, all of those can make your skin a lot more prone and a lot more sensitive to the sun. So full pump of this guy, put it between my three fingers here. And then again, same thing, we're gonna press. And I kind of just like blot all over and obviously it does first come out white but once you start to blend and once it starts to set it goes clear so don't even worry about it it's super lightweight too so that is everything for the morning a.m routine i love how like dewy and hydrated my skin is it's like the perfect base prior to makeup as well it's not gonna like get pilly or anything like that it still works great with whatever your makeup routine is and it's also perfect for days that you're not wearing makeup just like overall makes my skin look and feel so much more youthful and hydrated and you get like that glass skin effect see the light bouncing from my skin i love it so now i'm gonna go i will check in with you guys later on tonight to show you my nighttime routine so now I'm gonna show you guys my nighttime routine. The first thing I do is get my hair up and out of my face. So I did wear makeup today. The first thing I'm going to do to remove that is use my Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. And it's exactly what it says. It's like a super thick, balm that helps to dissolve makeup, sunscreen, whatever you have on your skin. I'm a big fan of double cleansing, especially when I am wearing makeup because I feel like I have to use less of my cleanser itself. It's also a super gentle way to remove your makeup and cleanse your skin. It's just super effective. So rather than using like a makeup wipe that's so harsh on your skin, especially the eye area, I recommend using something that helps by doing the work for you, such as the cleansing balm. You can use your fingers or the back of your nails because I have my fake nails on. I like to use something else to dig the product out rather than getting it like up and under my fingers. I don't know. I'm weird. This is just being extra. <laughs> But I like to use little spatulas. I also just feel like it's like more hygienic. I don't know because you can like clean this after and before each use rather than just sticking your fingers in the container, you know? So I'm just going to take a good amount and place this just directly onto my skin with the little spatchy spatch first and then I'm going to use my fingers and hands. And you can use this over your lips, your eyes, bring it down your neck. And then once you have it all smoothed out all over your skin, I'm gonna move on to my eyes next. Uh, then I can dampen my skin. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water, continue to rub it onto my skin, and then use a warm, wet washcloth to completely remove it. Also, by the way, I didn't mention before, but I am wearing waterproof mascara, FYI. So just gently like pulling downward or pressing downward to get all on around the lashes. It's so gentle, but it's so effective. Like it took all that waterproof off so easily. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to my regular cleanser. It kind of just depends on how my skin's been acting, but recently I've been just having like one or two random like hormonal little tiny breakouts. Like I have a super tiny one right in the center of my forehead. So cute. So I've been using the Kate Somerville Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser. This is an acne treatment. It's 3% sulfur. So it just helps to clear and prevent further breakouts by unclogging congested pores without over drying my skin. So I like to lather that on all over and then let it sit for like 30 to 60 seconds. Letting a product actually sit on your skin is super key because I feel like people just like quickly apply it and then quickly rinse it off and like it's not actually benefiting your skin at all when you're just putting it on, on and off really quickly. So allow your product, especially when it comes to acne, to have that time to really work into your skin. So after letting it sit, I'm just going to take some warm water and a washcloth and gently remove this as well. So I do cycle through my cleansers, but I'll typically use this about once a week. Then the rest of the week, I also alternate the Purity Made Simple. This is just like a really gentle cleanser. And then I also incorporate the Dermalogica Daily Exfoliant, but I typically do this like two to three times a week. If I do notice like some buildup, some texture on my skin, or I just want to exfoliate, I will use the Dermalogica. It is a really interesting exfoliant. It comes out like a powder and then you just add water, mix it together, and it becomes like this paste. So you can add more water to make it more fluid or less water to make it more of a scrub or exfoliant. So anywhere that I really notice texture is where I like to focus this. And then I'm just gonna quickly rinse it off with some warm water and pat my skin dry. Next, I'm gonna add my serums. So I'm going to use the Bye Bye Pores 10% Glycolic Acid. 
and I'm gonna pair that with the Bye Bye Lines. This is 1.5% hyaluronic acid, peptide, and vitamin B5. I'm gonna add about five drops of the Bye Bye Pores and mix in about three to four of the hyaluronic acid in with it, and then just press and apply that all over. Then same thing, just like morning, I'm going to also apply my eye cream, tapping that under and around my eye. Then a huge favorite of mine for a few years now is the Grande Lash Enhancing Serum. I've been obsessed with this. It looks like a tube of mascara, but it has like this super tiny little, kind of like an eyeliner brush. And you just place it as you would with eyeliner. So right above the lashes, corner to corner. I wear mine at night, but it just makes my lashes so thick and so long. My natural lashes are like really stubby, blonde, like you really can't even see them. They're naturally just very short and this makes it look like I have false lashes on all the time when I put mascara over top after using it for like six weeks. I'm always amazed and everyone around me is asking if I'm wearing false lashes or what mascara I'm using and this is the key, <laughs> I'm telling you. Then last but not least, I'm gonna finish up with the Mighty Patch Invisible Plus. Looks like this, they have a few different types, but this is my go-to favorite. I've used these for a couple years now, especially when I was suffering from like severe adult hormonal cystic acne. These were a go-to for me. These can be worn day or night. You can also wear them under makeup. They're so, so thin and when you apply them, they basically just like go clear. So again, you can wear them day or night and it just helps to conceal, but also to help the blemish heal. It's so important that you don't pick at your skin because you can actually make it worse and you don't want to scar. So it's just these super thin, I always pronounce this word wrong, hydrocollided patch that's like, it's honestly like barely noticeable when it's on the skin. You unpeel it and then it, they come on this little sheet like a band-aid. You can hardly see them. I can't even tell you how many boxes I went through when I was experiencing like severe acne prior to doing the Accutane treatment. So all you do is peel it super carefully from the edge and it's important to peel it from the packaging itself that it does come apart rather than your finger because you wanna keep the edges as seamless as possible to make it, you know, look invisible. And then you just place it on the blemish, bam. Like first of all, it conceals all the redness, but also helps it heal. And overnight, I like to wear mine overnight, it'll just draw out whatever's in the blemish. So when you take the band-aid or the little patch off, everything that was inside is now inside of the bandage or patch. <laughs> Gross, I know, but a lifesaver for anyone that ever experiences acne or occasional blemishes or breakouts. And typically by morning, the blemish itself will be like basically almost gone. I've also been putting this in at night before bed. This is the Collab Dry Shampoo Overnight Detox Formula. So it's supposed to help absorb the oil while you sleep. It also has like a calming scent because I think it's lavender. But anyway, I just shake this up, lift up different sections of my hair, give a couple sprays, and then use my fingertips and nails to like massage it in. Anywhere that you notice oil or you know you get oily. And you can see it doesn't leave a white residue in my hair. So, I mean, you could apply this during the day, but that's what I do and it works really well. And then just brush it through real quick. And that's it. Now I'm ready for bed. That's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it answered any questions you may have. Check out the description box for more information, direct links to shop and discount codes. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to make sure you're still subscribed to my channel, following me on Instagram and TikTok for more day-to-day -day updates. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.